Hello everyone and today I'll be showing you how to make a sniper type of enemy. As you can see I have an enemy right in front of me. This. And it is shooting me uh, single bullets. Yeah, uh, ignore the animations and everything. It is shooting like a, it has a pistol or something. But as you can see it has a sniper type of, it is shooting in type of a sniper uh, style. Sniper playable behavior. So, as you can see no matter where I go, it is shooting me. And it is not following me or anything. It is maintaining its position. But if I go out of its sight. It will try to find a new location. As you can see it has moved from there. And it has trying to find a new location. Uh, it saw me. Uh, so it uh, won't uh, move. Now again it cannot see me. So it is moving along. Uh, and trying to find a new way. To shoot it. Shoot at me. As you can see now it has seen me. So. Anyways, without wasting much of your time, I'll show you what we are actually going to do. And we are going to do this. As you can see, here we have an EQS system, which actually gives us uh, points where our enemy should be. So now, uh, what it is actually doing and what we are actually going to do. So here I have an EQS system and here this is the enemy that we have. Uh, all of your things can vary. Uh, about how your enemy is chasing you or uh, the amount of time it will shoot you or does it has a token system uh, or does it has a token system or does your enemy uh, works on its own state machine or something like that it can vary but right now we are going to only uh, mainly focus on how the positioning of the AI works so now I have a EQS so here we see, I'll uh, manage it in a way where you can see both of it very nicely. Uh, sorry, it is taking time. Alright. So firstly, I will uncheck all of these things. Okay. Now as you can see, it is simply a grid. It is just simply a single grid. Alright. Deba, yeah, yeah, grid half size space between, okay, and you, uh, one thing you need to understand is uh, this is important, it should be on the query, okay, don't uh, put it to player or anything. Basically, we will be taking the player's position into account, but uh, we, we are doing it right from the enemy AI's code instead of doing it, uh, making a new, uh, blueprint if you have made a new blueprint and uh, about the player like you, you can see I have here EQS query item player uh, it is okay but I, w I always like to do it from query that way I can change and not just have the player but if uh, there is a system where my enemies can shoot other enemies as well or other AIs or have multiple players so you know I can just add the current enemy instead of direct player okay now first thing that we need to do is uh, as you can see we have different um, what do you call test right but you have to put it in a uh, particular way it's not mandatory you can put them anyhow you want but if you put it in a particular way the way I have done it uh, you will it is easier to cut out and uh, basically subtract it is easy to subtract the points and get only the points that you need and uh, this way you you are calculating less points as you can see, firstly, we'll uh, calculate what are the points we need. Alright. Uh, what are the points that we can reach? As you can see, uh, we cannot reach her. So that point is invalid. Alright. And there are multiple points that we can reach. Or else maybe you can do it uh, from distance. Okay. Even this is good. If uh, distance to query, uh, I guess this should be on top. Anyways, it depends on what is your... Uh, what do you call it? What is your preference? Okay, let's say this is the distance. First, we check for the distance. All right, as this is a sniper, we don't want it to be close to the player. So this is the player. Then these blue are the ones where we don't want up uh, enemy to be. We want our enemy to be outside this. Okay, so distance here we have load in range and minimum value, maximum value. Okay, you can change it according to your map size and everything. Path exist. Okay. Can we actually go to that point? Okay, let's say okay, like uh, path exit should be the last thing on our list because 
calculating path is quite expensive. Sorry, I did it upside down. Anyways, so now that we have distance, now we have added a trace. All right. Um. Now what this trace is actually doing is it is checking. Here you can see a distance to. Oh, sorry. Trace trace context query. All right. Now what it uh, an item height and offset context. So basically what it actually is doing is it is checking let's say from this point can we look at the player do we have a line of sight to the player if we do then we are in a good spot if we don't then we are not in a good spot let's say um, somewhere like this okay here I don't have a visibility towards the player right so it is not a good spot even from here it, I guess right but you can change it um, according to that height let's say this is 90 let's say you have a very tall enemy okay super tall enemy let's say I've done it 190 now as you, you will be able to see most of the points will change it is 0 as you can see on 0 0 most of the points have uh, vanished so if we do 90 and 90 we regain most of the points it depends this should be according to your enemy's height on the average uh, you don't need to have it uh, right on the, its eye level but you can have it on its chest level or a variation from here to here all right anyways uh, moving on a uh, distance to item all right in item i have context item where i can add um uh, here we are adding uh, we are taking in account the enemy let's say we have all of these um things right now it will calculate what is the closest point like this is the closest point there is no um what do you call it what do you say there is no point in uh going here right if this is the closest point and you are getting the visibility because this is a sniper enemy and your player uh player is moving on the map all around the map and mostly while players are playing they want to have the sniper where it is right so what happens is they know that the sniper is here so wherever they fight they always know where that uh, high damage enemy is right so they don't have to mentally calculate and uh, look around where that enemy has gone and then position themselves are accordingly all right so that's why I get the closest one and then at the end we will check if the path exists all right you can interchange them however you like but it is basically just this nothing more than this a simple eqs query can save you a lot of thing and uh, you can you will be able to make a enemy ai out of this so for many people this will this might be the end of the uh, tutorial but i'll dug in a little bit deep all right one move a few more things that you need to understand is you need to uncheck uh, bull match here on visibility and on distance uh, path from query are also bull match all right all or else it will take the points that you cannot reach so let's move it here and we can see what we are actually doing inside the uh, character so i'll also talk about this fallback this is pretty interesting so um tech then i go arrow fall back yeah move to location so this is the thing we are moving to location sorry i have not commented this move to location this is our movement all right what we are actually doing is we are doing it once all right uh, since i am hitting this from uh, my event tick okay it is uh, getting in from event tick because here i am continuously checking if i have a, my enemy has line of uh, sight towards the player if my enemy has line of sight towards the player then no need of doing it just focus on attacking if my enemy does not have a line of sight on the player it will check every few seconds okay like every two seconds uh, a new location will be checked because uh, this will um, reduce the computing size as I am not checking uh, every second 
uh, sorry every frame also the eqs needs some time to run and understand what is going on so if you trigger it every frame it won't work and lastly uh, my game is very fast paced action so having it calculated every moment is quite unnecessary and having it not calculated every few seconds is also not uh, a pro is also a problem because uh, my enemy uh, sorry my player might be anywhere the next uh, in next 2 seconds so i don't know like maybe one second the player is 100 meters away right next second he is right in front of my enemy so that's why i need to check it every second uh, or every 2 seconds so do once and i'm resetting it uh, after all the calculations are being done uh, run the eqs here i am getting a single random best of uh, 25% but you can get a single best item also here i have eqs for sniper and as you can see for query i have a reference from the player delay of 2 seconds check if it is uh, valid uh, and from here you can bring it out and type result okay result as locations so that way we have locations get a random convert it to a point okay go to point and then uh, here if it is true why do we have this okay because sometimes maybe your enemy uh, or player is in such a weird position that none of these uh, have a line of sight let's say he is here and he is completely blocked okay there is something here there is well something here something here all right i won't make a full box but just to give an example okay in such cases there might be time when yeah as you can see none of them can see it okay so your game will throw an error so we don't want that that's why we have a check boolean for um if it is true or not okay then get a random point and make your ai move to acceptance is 100 uh, it can be whatever you want and after 4 seconds i'm checking this every 4 seconds uh we reset this also why do i have this reset because i'm checking uh, on every tick i'm checking for the line of sight if i have a line of sight i'm stopping the active movement uh, which means that if my pl player is here enemy is here okay my player move somewhere here and my enemy cannot see it my enemy is starting to move my enemy has come somewhere here but by that time the point is here my enemy wants to go here okay it is trying to go like this and my player is here so by the time he goes here uh, she goes here my enemy has uh, my player has come here and my enemy can see it so in that scenario there is no point in in having my enemy move here right as it, it can see my player now okay one more thing that i have is i'm checking the distance to player red radius is basically the minimum radius or the danger zone radius uh, of my player uh, of my enemy sorry i'm interchanging the names um i'll show you how it looks uh, this is the red radius if you will be able to see in play mode yeah as you can see that is the danger zone if i go inside that zone as you can see she will start to move away from me because since it is a sniper uh, type of enemy it wants to go away from me sorry there is a bit of a uh, lag uh, yeah there is some foot sliding sorry for that but here yeah. so how does she do, do that in fall back it has the same logic literally the same logic as um uh sorry literally the same logic as that grid based uh, eqs but what we are doing here is uh, ignore this flip flop this is was uh, something experimental right also ignore this this is just to demonstrate uh, what is going on uh, yeah i'll show you what that fall back eqs is here in the eqs we'll have a fall back eqs as you can see the way this eqs works is again we'll get this sorry the tutorial is uh, getting a bit long 
yeah uh, function one uh, Um, yes, what it is doing, it's basically generating a cone, all right, a cone generation, angles, cone, angle steps, everything, this can be according to you, how you want it to be, all right, the angle also, you can keep it the way you want it, then we are checking if a path exists, and the distance from the query. We want it to be as far as possible or in a closer range, right? Also, uh, in both in both of the EQS that I've used, uh, I've changed this projection up and down thing, okay? Because uh, I don't think I have changed it in this, uh, this EQS, but in the previous one, I did change it. Uh, so that, let's say my player is down below somewhere, right? It can get, uh, get points above also. So if I change projection up to somewhere, something like uh, 2,000. Yeah, as you can see, it has some points above. But it will look uh, very weird uh, that it is falling back. Uh, it is maintaining distance from the player, but going here, uh, climbing some things. So that's why I don't want that. So that's why I have it uh, minimum to this. All right. So that is it for this video. It is just simple uh, explanation of uh, how to do EQS and positioning for your uh, enemy AI uh, if they are kind of snipers. So that is it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, keep playing.